Hello everyone, welcome back for a new video. Um, a video I promised ages ago. Why did I not do it? Um, because I didn't feel it was the time to do it. Because the Scorpion wasn't working as it 100% should be. Um, you know the CQB setup finally works. Uh, the people that follow me on Instagram, Facebook or even need on YouTube. You saw the video. Um, the people that follow me on Facebook and Instagram know a little bit more than the ones from YouTube but last week I went to a testing range and I finally managed to fix my HPA carbine setup um, so I hope to test it really soon now this video taking the scorpion apart it's asked a few times assembling it again and for the HPA engine how to set all the settings like 12, rough, stuff like that so that's gonna be in this video first part disassembling it so let's go Disassembling the gun. I know the silencer is too short, the printer is as we speak uh, printing an extra part so it gets longer. On the CQB version, it's just loosening the first two nuts, pull the hand guard off. Um, be careful not to lose. Your sling adapter. Yeah, for me it isn't, but normally there is this charging handle over here as well with the spring. So also, if you pull it off, hold it with your finger so it can fly out. Remove your scope, of course. All your iron sights. Push at the back for the stock, just pushing down the spring button, and then you can slide it up. Now we just loosen all the bolts. For the people that have bought a new Scorpion Evo, everything I'm doing now, so opening the shell, does not void the warranty. It has been a discussion in the, in the beginning, um, it did, it did not, but if I'm not mistaken, ASG said it does not avoid the warranty because you should be able changing your button and chasing your rubber is only possible by opening the shell all the screws are out now for me personally I find it more easily um, to turn the, the gun upside down for the shell in here the bolt so hold this bolt down, cap down, loosen the top cap, but hold this movable part, because there is a spring underneath it, I hope you can see that on the video, but in here there is a spring for that one. Just hold your finger on that spring, and now carefully remove this cap, and that way the spring which I have here, didn't jump away. At the back of the spring you have a black plastic piece, you really need that otherwise the spring doesn't stay on its place. So put that away. Now you can carefully remove the other side 
Then over here there's a pin. Push that one out. There we go. And then you have your outer barrel with your hop up unit inner barrel. This spring is something I did. I changed it, does not include the gun. Um, when I was shooting on the all the, the unit, the hop up unit and the barrel kept moving back and forward, so now I made the spring so it stays back against the engine. No. So that's how to take apart your gun without avoiding the warranty. If you're gonna ch work on as on AG as on HPA, in here that does void your warranty. The barrel, I'm not gonna take the barrel apart because now it finally sits sits correctly, so I'm not gonna risk anything. But you can see, I hope you really see it, a small iron pin, push that one out with a small screwdriver, a flattened one, you can push it down and then it in here, uh, back at the lip you can pull it out. Um, then you can turn a little bit on your adjuster so the hop up arm comes up, take a small screwdriver to pull it out, watch out you don't lose your nub and then you can adjust the, uh, turn the adjuster a little bit front and then there is a small gap so it can come out and then you have everything. Um, putting everything back together it's the same, first you do the adjuster in it then drop your arm in it. The arm is a little bit tricky because you have to get the hole in front but once you have done it a few times it's rather okay. So about that one I'm not gonna be doing now but just don't be afraid to push on that metal pin because that's the hardest part, it's really snug in there. So just pull it out, put it, push it out, um, remove the arm, the screw, the nub and then you can pull out the inner barrel like any other normal system. So that's just how to disassemble it. <coughs> Part 2, adjusting your HPA engines on the settings. The board used in this gun is the Spartan setup from Wolverine. So the Spartan, what does it do? You do all the settings by the trigger. The only difference from the Scorpion um, Spartan set and the normal V2 Spartan set we have three stands, single fire, bursts, full auto, four stands of course, safety as well. Um, the V2 versions for the normal M4 stuff like that, you don't have the burst one. You can program it in burst but you don't have them both. How to adjust it? You set your selector on single fire modus to adjust the dwell. Hold down the trigger and connect your battery. There we go. Now if I'm gonna hold down the trigger and don't shoot, just hold it down. It's gonna cycle once every second or gonna shoot once every second and cycling between all the dwell systems. At a certain moment you have you're gonna have a double shot. That's the moment the engine resets himself back to the beginning, so the first dwell setting. That's something you should do before you start adjusting your dwell the first time. Make sure your gun is on the first setting. So we're going to hold down. Uh, no. And he's not doing it, so I did something wrong. <laughs> You don't need you don't need the air. I'm gonna show you you can hear the engine. So there we go, single fire. Hold down the trigger. Let's go. 
Call down the trigger again. Double. You can hear the engine clicking. Double. Loose. So that double tick you hear on that one is your reset. So now it's on the first set. Disconnect the battery and now it's saving himself on that setting. So resetting your engine to the beginning you don't need a you don't need a a, a a magazine. It's just only the battery, and you can hear the clicking. So that was a full cycle of all 12 steps on dwell settings. If you if I would do that on an, with a full assembled gun in front of an FPS meter, what you will see in a bit, um, you're gonna see the FPS dropping down, and at a certain moment, or not dropping down, keeping the same, and at a certain moment it drops down. That's when you have two less air, and you have to go up. How do you go up on setting? So holding it down is lowering, double tap, double tap, that's going back to the next step. So he shoots but he registered the double tap so he knows he has to go up for the next one. For rough and how much uh, burst is on the, on the set, next settings, so let me reset it first again. There we go. Loosen the battery. Next one. That's the burst. So switch it in burst. There we go. Hold down the trigger. Connect the battery. Let go. Now you can program how much BBs you want to lose. One, three, four, five. I'm oh, sorry, five. One, two, three, four, five. So if I let go now, remove the battery, connect the battery without holding the trigger, that means save, single fire. Five round burst, full auto. So, full auto, five round burst, single, safe. Disconnect the battery again. So, the last setting, that's the full auto, and that's your maximum rough. So full auto, again, every time the same step, holding down your trigger, connect the battery, and now it's going to choose how fast it shoots. It's doing it first, but if every burst is faster. The fast one, fastest, slower. Faster, faster. So again, it's something five, six different drops you can set. Fast. I think that was the fastest step. So if I disconnect now, he saves it. Disconnect it again normally. That's your full auto, but start from the beginning. Save. Still, still single fire. Still five round burst. And on this one, full auto. If I disconnect it again in full auto, hold the trigger, connect, holding it down the trigger again. That's the slowest one, so we have the fastest one. Disconnect, now we're in the slowest setting, to show you the difference. So that was a clear difference bef between this one, the slowest one, and the previous one, the fastest one. I have no idea how fast that is. Um, I never measured it because I always play single fire on all settings. Single fire on all settings, at the moment, this one is burst, 
and single file oh, or out of file. So how do I get it in single file? Disconnect the battery. The first one, single fire mode, this is only dwell. So you, you want to have you're going in single fire, you have to go to burst mode. So the next setting, hold down your trigger again. Battery, hold down the trigger to cycle between all the steps. Two, three, four, five, one. On one, I let go of my trigger, disconnect the battery, connect the battery again normally, and now we have safe, single fire, burst modus, single fire, and full auto, single fire. So it is possible to set this gun as a single fire gun, as a DMR, if you set your burst to one, the full auto will go to one as well. So now we are ready to test everything with the barrel for the dwell because we have, let me disconnect this, <coughs> we have set um, the engine to its starting position by the double, by here in the, the double click, we have set everything how we want it on the other shots. So next part, putting the gun back together, inner barrel, outer barrel. Slide it over the nozzle, flip it over again, put the pin, the pin back in, always from the right side to the left side, looking behind, your, looking behind your gun from right to left. Then the first shell I put on is the one, hold on, is the one with the, where the spring has to be. So that's the first one I'm always Connecting, there we go, oh yeah, make sure your gun is in safe when you start assembling it, um, let me pull this out again, if it is on full auto or burst or whatever, those small springs from your connectors um, slide up and sometimes it messes around with the shells and also it's a little bit dangerous, maybe getting them out so make sure to be all safe and the springs are down first shell drop them on on the table now your bolt bolt cap even uh, drop it in forward this part to the front and on that moment you have a small I uh, hope that is seeable but over here there's a small lip where your spring has to be pushing against. So that lip has to go down. Take your spring, your plastic part at the back, drop the spring in. Underneath the cap, into that um, part where it needs to be. And just carefully push the spring forward so, and hold down the cap. If you don't hold the cap down, it will come up and the spring will fly out. So hold this down and just push your spring in where it needs to be and you can let go. The plastic part, make sure it stays there. Just hold this down. Your next cap, fly it over it. Get your other hand to hold down the cap. And gently push it together where it should be. Now you can let go of the cap as long as you hold the outer shell, turn it over again, and now you just put in all the screws. Just turn them down. Don't over tighten these. It's easy to, to mess up the nuts. Nuts? Yeah, whatever. 
so just gently gently tighten them there we go slide the stock over push down the button so it can pass locked and then we just should do the hand guard silencer side whatever but I'm not gonna do that because I need to be able reaching my battery for adjusting the correct dwell okay the next part the last part even um, dwell settings before we can adjust the dwell itself we have to make sure which PSI we need uh, for the max FPS or the max joules we can have on the field so we reset the engine on the first part you heard that double tick so I know I'm on my maximum dwell so he's giving the maximum air and that's where you should start I've set my I've set my regulator oh, a little bit too high no, I'm gonna leave it for a moment it's 60 it's 62 but I know that's gonna be too high <coughs> so let's see how much FPS we get single fire <laughs> sorry um, it's proven by now you need the battery you really do try this again <laughs> So 1.4 joules, 1.37 joules, that's too high, safe, that's too high for my field, I can have maximum 1.2, so lower it, one point twenty one, just a tiny over because on my field it's 1.2 joules for assault class maximum one point sixteen one point twenty one one point two one point nineteen that's an empty magazine. One point seventeen. One point sixteen. So this one is good. One point two. That's just on the on the edge. One point eighteen. One point two. So yeah, this should be the max what I can really the max what I can play. Save. Remove the battery. Uh, so now it's on maximum dwell my PSI is set the only thing you should check now before you start setting your dwell is your hop up I know from the test range my hop up is correctly so I can continue the video but first shoot a few times adjust your hop up on the weight you are using so it flies straight and then you should test your FPS again there is a chance you have to lower or higher maybe nothing but there is a chance you have to lower or higher your PSI bit once that is done we can start setting our dwell so disconnect the battery drop it on single fire set it on ring of fire hold down your trigger again connect the battery let go magazine in it now we're just gonna hold down the trigger and see what the jewels do oh there you go 101 the previous one was 109 
So that means that is the drop I'm meaning. So now just double tap to go back up. He dropped again, but now he's gonna be higher because of the double tap before. We're gonna double tap again. 1.08, double tap again. 1.013, so we're going up, double tap again. 1.14, still not on 117. Double tap, 117, double tap, 118. There we go. So that is the setting I need. Now I just remove the battery. Connect the battery normally and test 1 1.16 1.16 1.16 1.16 1.16 1.17 1.17 1.17 1.17 So there we go Uh, no, not disconnecting it yet. Oh. Magazine. Empty it. There we go. So now, you're finished. That's what, that's the only thing you have to do for your HPA gun with a Spartan kit. It's every Spartan kit. Single fire is for your dwell, the other settings are for burst and full out or off. So that's it guys, the only thing I can do now or left to do now is drop the hand, go back on it. Short charge. There we go. Ready to go. Ready for some field experience on the carbine set. I hope I helped you guys with this one. I hope the people that have an HPA Scorpion or an HPA um, Spartan kit, I hope they now know how to adjust everything. If not, I will see the questions down in the comments. Um, Thanks for watching, thanks for keep watching my videos guys, um, I have been off for a few months, I know, not that active, stupid fly, uh, <laughs> not that active last month because of work, but even then I have seen my followers growing to 11k, so thank you guys for supporting me, um, it's really nice to see people enjoy what I'm doing while I'm enjoy enjoying what I'm doing. Yeah. I'll see you all next time, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for future videos, bye!